So you might be having an issue with your AirPods where for some reason the spatial audio toggle is for some reason missing. So if you swipe down from your little AirPod, little let's control center here and you hold down here, you might see that, I'll go and put my AirPods in my ear for the time being. You might see that at the very bottom, your little spatial audio option might be turned off or it might be missing. So in this case, you can see mine's on, but if I go and swipe out and if I go and hold down here once more, you might be able to see that sometimes it may work, sometimes you may not see it. Now, the reason why that might be not working is for one, you weren't playing any video or content or sound. That is usually the number one reason why these specific things don't come up if your AirPods support it. If your AirPods do not support spatial audio, like the AirPods 2s, the AirPods 1s, then obviously it's not going to work. So you want to make sure your AirPods support spatial audio, but you also want to make sure you're playing content that is also supported with spatial audio. Not every single video is supported or not every single song is supported, although I will say 99% of the time it probably will be. So do keep that in mind. If for some reason spatial audio is still not working, another thing some people recommend doing is making your way over to your settings application right here. You want to scroll down until you see accessibility, which is right there. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see audio and visual, which is right here. And there's a little mono audio option. What you want to do is you may want to make sure this is not toggled on. If this is toggled on, then this can also cause some issues. So if I go and scroll down here and I click here one more time, you'll see that spatial audio is now grayed out. So if that mono audio toggle is turned on, then that will be an issue as well. So what you want to do here is just go and turn this off like this, and that should end up fixing the situation as well. Now, for some reason, that doesn't fix it. Another thing you can try doing is restarting your phone. So go and just restart your phone as you normally would. You can also try going into your general settings of your iPhone, clicking on software update, and just updating your iPhone as well. That is another thing you can try doing. But those are pretty much the main things I'd recommend doing in this specific case. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.